Okay, so I think it started. Uh, I'm Beth, the writer for Why No Rhino. Uh, this is my first ever video blog entry. I decided to try something different, you know, not so much the typey type of always writing down wine opinions. I thought I'd just make something you know, a little more personal, a little you know, unique. Um, so the wine that I'm trying today is part of the Around the World series that I'm doing, you know, trying to try different wines from every region, uh, every wine producing country in the world. And um, it's also, also a unique wine because I've had a biodynamic, I've had organic wines, but it's the first time I've had kosher wine. I'm not sure if you know what kosher means, but it means that it has no animal, it has no pork, and so specifically for this wine, it means it has no gelatin, which can be used, you know, with bone or other animal byproducts. And it also means blessed by a rep rabbi, which is a pretty big deal. <laughs> and so this is the one right here. It's a Yarden Galilee 2006 Mount Hernan blend. Um, uh, Galilee is a very popular wine region in Israel, which also hosts about a, about a couple hundred other wineries, ranging from you know, small boutique size to very large industries. <laughs> and um, and they produce they export about twenty two million dollars worth of uh, wine every year, which is you know, pretty big. And um, this was a blend of forty five percent Merlot, forty percent Cabernet, and then fifteen percent Cabernet Franc. If you uh, look at the color, it has a dark, deep burgundy. Um, the halo is, you know, on the browner on uh, browner side, so it's clearly not going to be a uh, California red, where it's more on the sweeter side with a much pinker look to it. And um, it, uh, the nose itself. Has a has quite a bit of balsamic originally, which can be both a good and a bad thing for a wine. It has some pepper, a little chocolate, definitely a hint of ginger as well, and it's definitely, of course, jammy with some dark plum and blueberry, which is a you know characteristic of some more heavier reds. <sighs> Tastes a little sharp at first, a little little hint of balsamic and some ginger as well actually carries through into the flavor. It has a lot of coffee and chocolate, which is really interesting. It has a hint of herb. It's a lightly tannic, but the finish, honestly, it's a little bit bitter, even though it has that tannic on it, which, I mean, the start is really good, but the finish is, it's okay, it's not great. And um, it finishes also with a little bit of a red apple, which is really unique. Um, so overall, it's good. It's you know, not great, but it's good. Uh, it was definitely interesting to uh, try a kosher wine. So for those of you who may be celebrating, you know, Hanukkah or Passover, uh, you know, you definitely have one for the books. It's got a uh, the uh, it's got the uh, rabbi's seal of approval on it. So that's a good thing. All right. Uh, until next time, I hope you're all having a fantastic day and uh, keep drinking.